Hi, welcome back to ECS444. We are now in Lesson 5, Steel Column Design. I am Dr. Rosena, your lecturer. Nice to meet you again. In this Lesson 5, you should be able to explain the failure modes of compression member, Euler buckling theory, column slenderness and effective buckling length, analyze and design concentrically loaded column. Structural elements that are subjected to axial compressive forces only are called columns. Columns are subjected to axial loads through the centroid. The stress in the column cross-section can be calculated as an external force, P, acting over the cross-sectional area where, F is assumed to be uniform over the entire cross-section. The two common types of column sections are steel hollow sections, circular, square or rectangular and I column. Steel hollow sections are versatile materials used in commercial, industrial and residential constructions to provide structural support and aesthetic appeal. These hollow steel sections come in either circular, CHS, square, SHS, or rectangular, RHS, shaped cross sections that possess their own unique properties. Typical failure modes of compression member are local and global buckling modes. Figure A, B, and C show local buckling modes and figure D, E, and F show global buckling modes. Depending on the cross section, the loading and the boundary conditions of a member, several different types of buckling may occur. These are commonly classified as flexural buckling, torsional buckling, and flexural torsional or lateral torsional buckling. The following figure illustrates the three buckling types for members. Euler's critical load is the compressive load at which a slender column will suddenly bend or buckle. It is given by the formula PCR, is the Euler's critical load, longitudinal compression load on column, E, Young's modulus of the column material, I, minimum area moment of inertia of the cross section of the column, L, unsupported length of column, and K. Column Effective Length Factor Buckling effective lengths of a compression member is the length of a column which depends on effective length factor based on end boundary conditions. Table shows the column effective length factors for Euler's critical load. In practical design, it is recommended to increase the factors as shown in table. K is referred to effective length factor based on end boundary conditions. Local buckling can be controlled by section classification with least section being class 3 and able to reach overall buckling without failure prior to local buckling class 4. This table is used to classify the web when part subject to compression. Whereas, this table is used to classify the flange when part subject to compression. Here are the five basic steps in design procedure for steel column. First, Select trial size of UC section. Step 2, check strength classification followed by determine section classification. Step 4, check compression resistance of cross section, NCRD. And finally, step 5 check buckling resistance of member NBRD. In step 4, we need to calculate the critical stress, slenderness ratio, radius of gyration and non-dimensional slenderness in order to determine the compression resistance of cross-section NCRD. In step 5, we need to calculate the reduction factor in order to determine the buckling resistance of member, NBRD. The reduction factor must be less or equal to 1. Reduction factor depends on imperfection factor for respective buckling curve. Neglect buckling if lambda bar less or equal to 0.2 or else, applied design force, NED, is less, or equal to, NCR multiply by 0.04. Selection of buckling curve for a different cross section can be referred to table. Thank you for your attention. You are awesome.